Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is a CSV file and why to use CSV file. So after that, how to read test data present inside a CSV file. Okay, first we will discuss what is a CSV file before going to start our actual uh, discussion. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more videos from automation and manual concept and also please watch this video till the end and also please like the i mean please like this video and also please share all our videos to your friends or colleagues so that they will also understand the concepts what we are discussing from our channel okay let's get started our the first concept here is what is a csv file here okay so here csv stands for comma separated file okay csv stands for comma separated file where it is a tabular representation of data in a plain text format okay csv file it is a tabular representation of data in a plain text format okay so here also if you can see this csv file will also looks like our excel document only okay so here also if you can see this csv file what i am showing currently so that will also looks like the same only how excel file looks like it will also looks like the same only okay it will also looks like the same only as you can see here here also we have rows and columns but the only change here is wherever the test data we are entering that test data we are mentioning with some comma between two test data two test data we are adding one sum comma so that means that is called as comma separated values okay so this csv file and our excel document both will looks like the same only okay both will looks like the same only but only the change here is the ui part okay where it is differentiating from the excel means only change here is ui part okay remaining everything is the same only so mostly uh, i mean there are some projects also there where they they need to store their test data in the form of csv file only but in in some companies in some projects they will use excel document to store to store their test data and also with the help of this csv file we can also perform data driven test cases as well and also keyword driven test cases as well okay keyword driven frameworks and also data driven frameworks also we can develop with the help of this csv files okay so now we will see why do we use this csv file okay why do we use csv file here okay so here it is a plain text file so it is easy for web developers to create this csv file and working with them okay so here csv file is easy to import and also it is easy to export and also we can spread i mean we can convert this csv file to any spreadsheet and also to any database as well so here spreadsheet means that is in the form of excel document and also it is used in the most of the leading domains like erp domains banking domains finance domains insurance domains so likewise where there are maintenance projects okay these csv files can be used for the most of the leading domains like okay most of the domain i mean most of the leading domains like insurance domain banking domain finance domain and erp domain and crm domains okay so these are all the different different maintenance domains so where these projects are using these these csv files as their test data files okay and also compare to okay compare to compare to excel document and remaining it is a bit i mean it is bit easier to readable and also it is it will looks like in a smaller size only okay and the extension of this csv file is dot csv which means comma separated value okay we can use this csv as an alternative if you don't have excel sheets means we can replace that excel sheet with the help of this csv file because the ui part it will looks like the same only but the only change here is okay the only change here is where we are seeing this file new okay some insert option design options and also conditional formatting so this much only this csv file is differentiating than excel document but remaining the storing and updating importing exporting all are same only but the only change here is dot 
extension only for excel documents that is dot xlsx for csv files that is dot csv which means comma separated value okay now i will show you one practical example here okay now i will show you one practical example let me open my eclipse here so that i will show you how we can read particular the test data what i mentioned here username password scenario description and admin admin 123 login login functionality i need to read this entire data present inside the this csv file so how we can read that one i will show you okay i will show you how to read the test data present inside the csv file okay so no problem yeah let me go to our class first so where i have already created so that it will save our time okay so here this is our read csv file class okay this is our read csv file class okay so here what i am doing i am see if you want to use this csv reader i mean see if you want to read any test data from the csv file and also if you want to write any test data into csv file so in the same way how we are adding the dependency tag files and also how we are adding apache jar files for reading and writing the excel operations in the same way we need to add one dependency tag file to operate these csv files as well okay to operate these csv files as well so you will get it from maven repository as you can see here just now i have added one dependency file here that is com.csv okay com.csv file so here you can see com.opencsv the version here is this is one this one is latest version of csv okay if you are not using maven project you can directly download <coughs> from the same maven repository in the form of jar file then you can add that jar file into your eclipse okay so now i have added this i mean this dependency tag file inside this pom.xml file so now i am going to create a class here where it is having main method i am not using testng as it is only reading from the testng i mean only reading from the csv file the test data okay that's why i am not adding any at the rate test methods for this one i can directly execute with the help of public static void main method so here the first line csv reader okay first we are defining the path of the csv file okay first here the csv reader is calling from the maven dependency file wa what we added okay it will come from that pom.xml file where we added the dependency tag file okay so if you don't add that jar file or dependency tag file you don't get these suggestions when you are typing okay you can see here a very simple csv reader related okay so here at first what we did here we defined the path of the csv file and also after that we are going to use this file reader option okay file reader class here okay where we are going to capture all the contents of the csv format okay so here i defined a path for csv file with the help of csv reader so after that i am using one class that is called as file reader class so where it is going to what it will do where it is going to capture or reading all the content from that particular dot csv file what i have shown to you and then what i am doing here next i am creating an instance here okay i am creating an instance of the csv reader class okay i created an instance for this particular csv reader class and i am passing this object to okay and i am passing this object of the file reader as an argument to okay and the file reader is file reader as an argument to which one inside the csv reader okay further furtherly what i am using here i am using one while condition here okay i am using some while statement here so then what i am using so here that data here is it is of array data type of string okay where it is uh, single array of type data type is string so with the help of read next so what i am doing once if it reads the first column of that particular row then again it is moving to the next column of the same row right so likewise it will keep on incrementing with the column names only okay once it reads the first row columns then it is going to read the second row columns so if that particular mentioned column is not equals to null 
then go inside of that cell that is from 0 so what is the length of that particular test data what we are uh, finding okay after that I am going to add it into index based values so for example if i equal to 0 means it will print okay it will print in the form of this way username it will print so then it is going to the next column that i become 1 right so again it will print the password so likewise how many columns are present in the first row it is going to print all the column values so once it is done again what it will do again it will go for here and again it will check for the next row okay here we are mentioning right read next it is going to the next row and again in the second row zeroth column what is the value and what is the length now then it will print the second row first column value once that is okay once that is done it is going to pick the second column of the second row value third column of the second row value fourth column of the second row value so likewise it will keep on increasing how many columns are present once that is done with that particular row again with the help of this read next it will check whether that read next i mean whether that cell is equals to null or not if that is not equals to null means there is some test data present right so if the test data is present means go inside that class and you can print that value from the excel document or csv file okay csv file and excel documents both are looks like the same only but the only difference here in csv file is we can see some different uh, ui or what the information we are looking into csv file okay the only difference between csv and excel file here is in the excel you can see different tabs when you open the file but in the same way csv file is having some different tabs compared to the excel document that is the only difference and this csv file is very uh, smaller in size if you compare to the size of the documents okay so now let me execute this program okay now let me execute this program okay now let me execute we will see the output what it will give okay, save and launch okay so here you can see it is printing in this way okay the first username here is admin then the password here is admin123 then scenario what is the scenario that is login scenario what is the description that is login functionality right so that is the login functionality okay so that is about the description so here again i am telling what i am doing here i am going to tell you in this line at line number 13 what i am doing here at first we are defining the path of the csv file using file reader class okay using a file reader class we are defining the csv file path okay using the file reader class we are defining the csv file path where to capture the content present inside that csv file format okay so next what we are doing here we are creating an instance of the csv reader that is reader okay that is reader class we are creating okay we are creating the instance of the csv reader class and passing and passing which one and passing an object of the file reader as an argument inside the csv reader okay inside the csv reader we are passing an argument here that is called as file reader okay that is called as file reader so after that what i am doing i am taking one data type of uh, one array of data type string and then i am using one while loop here okay with the while loop what i am doing if it is in first row it will search whether that particular row is having cell right that cell is null or not if that is not equal to null then go inside of the cell and use this for loop condition so likewise it will keep on continue for the first row of how many columns are present once that is done it will come outside and it will print the all the column values for the first row likewise i shown you right like i shown you right so it will print all the values again what it will do again it will go here and this time and this time it will search for the next row right so in the next row the second row if that is not equal to null go inside of this first line okay go to second row and zeroth column and take this data value what it will be 2 right so here this 0 less than okay 0 less than whatever the data you are getting that is on second row okay then it will compare so again it will go and print the second row zeroth column value so likewise it will keep on continue how many columns are present in that particular row so once it is uh, not satisfying the condition then it will come outside and it will 
stop our execution okay this is how this uh, this is how we can read the test data from CSE file okay we can read the test data from CSE file so so far we have discussed what is CSE file and also why we need to use CSE file and then last I shown you how to read test data from the CSE file with the help of CSV reader class okay so to use this CSV reader class and to operate these CSV files you have to first add that maven dependency to your palm.xml file okay so for that you can go to your maven repository by opening your browser type there maven repository or mbn repository so after opening you can search for open csv okay after searching it will give you some results you can select that is common csv or open csv once if you select it will show you okay once it is selected it will show you different types of dependency file we are going to select the exact one that is called as open csv dependency and add it into your maven pom.xml file after adding then only we will get uh, this csv reader class inside your class okay inside your uh, reader csv file dot class file okay so likewise we are going to read the test data from csv file so please guys if you like this video please drop a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel selenium tech automation which will really helps me a lot and also our channel is very closer to 1k subscribers so please please support the channels and also please join all our live streams so that you will get more more information about manual and automation concepts from my channel selenium tech automation okay that's all it for now we will connect with our upcoming videos until then take care everyone have a nice day signing off selenium tech automation thank you guys